allow me to welcome you to the intergenerational dialogue this year 2021 themed prioritizing adolescent and youth sexual reproductive health to achieve the 2030 agenda for sustainable development Richer Hand Uganda stands for young people's sexual reproductive health and rights. We stand for the voices of young people. We stand to make sure that young people are seen, heard, and are meaningfully engaged to participate in addressing the challenges of our times. Young people are the ones most affected by issues of sexual reproductive health and rights, issues of unemployment, issues of abuse, sexual and gender-based violence, etc. The pandemic has, has been very strong in terms of effect, and of course, uh, we believe that uh, sexual reproductive health challenges among adolescents have been one of the issues uh, and are still one of the issues that are affecting young people. So our role at Richer Hand Uganda is to make sure that we amplify their voices. For someone to be healthy, you must be mentally okay. Your social well-being should be okay. When we see a teenage girl that is pregnant, it should be asked together with a question of defilement. But do we actually see it that way? No, we don't. We simply see a teenage girl or a teenage mother and we go like, ah, that one messed up. The sustainable development goals are clearly not being sustained in our country. I think that if we are to have a nation where we call ourselves a nation that works for young people, or if at all the leaders of the young people, I myself inclusive, and many other colleagues are to say we are offering leadership of young people for young people, then we must take on the faces of those people. I'd like to have an opportunity, open spaces where young people can discuss their sexual protective health needs, be open about what their challenges are, and the system should be able to respond to those identified needs. We need to work together it's not an issue of government, it's not an issue of Ministry of Health, it's an issue of a civil society organization, an issue of a young person, an issue of media, an issue of a member, honorable members of parliament, to make sure that even as we legislate, we are aware of the evolving times and the changes that these have brought, and a case in point being self-care. We have 12 year olds getting pregnant in Uganda. I think this is something that really has taken us aback that we need to really deeply think about and find a lasting solution. This very important matter is not a matter just for discussion for the purpose of statistics. It is an issue that affects the life of every child that is going through uh, the process of development and growing towards adolescence and to the adulthood. I do not find the right words to appreciate organizations such as Reach a Hand for the effort that they are putting in, in raising the voices for sexual reproductive health. We started this journey in 2014 of the intergenerational dialogue. And ever since then, we have seen so many changes that are being made in the policies that we are having, in the frameworks that are being designed. We hope and dream and believe that all of us are going to come together to find better ways to shape the country that we want to see, the development of the world that we aspire to have.